Guy went to jail for improving the Prague traffic lights. A group of people stole the president's flag and somebody destroyed the John Lennon's wall. These are some of the art stunts we are going to show to you today. So hello and welcome to Prague. Right now we're here on Palackého náměstí, Palackého square, which is sort of a Czech Hyde Park. In other words, you can start a protest or a demonstration anytime and you don't have to report it to the city. And one of these artists used this square to do his first art stunt. He measured 50 square meters on this square and built a fence around it. For what? For nothing. He just put up the fence and waited what's gonna happen. What happened? Nothing absolutely nothing. You would think that if you take over a public space, 50 square meters of a public space, somebody would notice and somebody would do something about it. Well, nobody did anything. He actually himself had to start calling the city and the different city services and he started asking them, hey, what's the fence for? And nobody gave him an answer. They were like, we don't know. Uh, call the water guys, call the electricity guys, call the Prague council, call the city hall. And guess what? The fence stayed here for 54 days. 54 days he took over this square for 50 and there was nothing there. This art stunt was performed by the artist that goes by the name Epos 257 and 257 in his name stands for the number of the law that defines destruction of things that are not yours. Also notice that he used something called invisible shield in his video while he was performing this. And by invisible shield, I mean workers overalls, because once you dress in those, you can do whatever you want in the city. And we know that, that's why we dressed up like that when we were cutting off the love locks in one of our episodes. But it's fair to say that Prague City is not to blame here because Epos did the same art stunt in Berlin where he built a fence, uh, actually in a place where there's a lot of embassies and it remained there even longer than in Prague. How much longer, you ask? A year and a half. This is not the only art stunt created by Epos. He also has a huge art piece nearby created uh, from traffic signs he collected around Prague. He also uh, sold a bag, a plastic bag full of money at an auction for more than the value of the money in the bag. And he also cut it out two billboards of presidential candidates and he placed the faces in a gallery where they were staring at each other. And one of these guys became a president and we got to go to the Prague Castle to explain you the next art stunt regarding that. That behind me that you can hardly see is the Prague Castle, the seat of the president. And when our president became the president, many people were unhappy with that. And one artist was especially unhappy and he expressed himself by pointing a middle finger to the president and to the castle. But not just regular middle finger, a big middle finger. This giant 10 meter, 33 feet tall middle purple finger was here in the middle of the river pointed to the castle. There was no reaction from the president, but the artist himself did have a statement to it. Let me read it for you. It is just a f you to those f***ing commies that live on the f***ing castle. And if you're wondering how come he was able to place such a piece in the river, well, the answer is simple. There are different rules uh, for what you can do on the river than what you can do in the city. The artist's name who did this is David Cherny and he did many controversial stuff. For example, the Entropa, he did the black babies on the TV tower, the peeing boys on the Czech country and many, many other things. But for the next art stunt, let's move closer to the castle. And if you want to be closer to us, you can subscribe to the channel because we've noticed that most of you haven't done that. So if you do that, it will make us happy and it will get you more good content. The following art stunt was very dangerous for the people involved. In this case, it was an art group that is called Stohoven. They climbed on the roof of the Prague castle and stole the president's flag. How did they manage to climb up? Well, there was scaffolding around the castle and they also dressed up as chimney sweeps. And not only they stole the president's flag, but they replaced it with giant red underwear. Obviously, this was a huge art stunt and the red underwear became a symbol uh, of people that disapprove or dislike the president. 
And if you ask what happened to the flag that they stole, well, the group actually cut the flag into little pieces, into many, many different pieces, and they gave the pieces to the people of the Czech country. And if you're asking and wondering what happened to the red underwear, well, the president took it down and he called some firefighters and they burned it. Yeah, I guess that's an art stunt itself. This art group, Stohoven, which by the way means get out of it or 100 cheats, did many other art pieces. For example, in one, they broke into the live broadcast of Czech TV and they faked an atomic bomb explosion on live TV, which you can imagine caused a lot of controversy. And one of their members did something really cool just here at the end of the bridge. Another art piece, art stunt, was created by one of the members of the group that we just mentioned. His name is Romantic, Roman Tietz. And he replaced these traffic signs behind me, the boring uh, guys that stand there, the red one and the green one, with uh, funny ones. And it's important to say that the perception of this uh, art stunt that he created was liked by the majority of the public. But it was not liked by the court and by the police. After the stunt, he was sentenced by the court to pay the damages he caused and also a fine at the total cost of 5,500 euros. And as an artist, he refused to pay, so he actually ended up in jail for one month. It is understandable that somebody is fined for messing with the traffic signs, but it's important to say that he didn't change the meaning of the signs. In other words, it was still red and green, so you knew when to stop or when to go. And it's also fair to point out that there are cities in the world that use these funny traffic lights. For example, in Innsbruck, instead of a regular boring guy, they have a snowboarder uh, that is green, which means you can walk or snowboard across the crosswalk. Yeah, but we're back to these boring guys again. I wish Roman Thies would come back and change them again. This here is the famous Lenin Wall in Prague. And seven years ago, the wall was over. And that's when a group of artists painted the entire wall white, leaving just a sign on it, wall is over. In a way, the sign was a tribute to the famous song by John Lennon and Yoko Ono, War is Over. Also, it was pointing out that the wall itself, the John Lennon wall, is over because it was painted white, but they painted it here on the 17th of November, which is the anniversary of our Velvet Revolution when we became a democratic country. And when we say it in Czech, we usually say that the wall fell because there was a wall between the East and the West. Uh, so it's that wall is over. So in a way it had a triple meaning, uh, but for sure I can guarantee that this wall was not over because immediately the next day tourists stepped in with their spray and paint and chalk and pens and they once again painted the wall over. The artist, students who painted the wall white, actually had some trouble with the owners of the wall because the owners wanted to sue them. Later, the artists apologized and they came to a rest with the owners. Uh, so that was the story of the wall that was nowhere near over. I absolutely love art in Prague and not only historical art, but also modern art we showed you today and especially temporary art. Because if you don't like it or if you disagree with it, it will be long gone by the time you start writing your nasty comments, I don't like that. Uh, but I wanna hear your opinion, I wanna read your comments. Uh, what do you think about the stuff we showed you today? Or maybe you can give us some examples from your cities or your countries, uh, what happened there in terms of art stunts. Two examples of great art stunts that I've witnessed with my own eyes that I loved. Uh, one was in Italy where Cristo created these um, floating uh, islands 
on the lake, which was absolutely amazing. And the other one that I really like is when they covered a fountain in the middle of the square in České Budějovice. And you may think, well, they covered it so nobody could see it. No, they attached it with a tunnel to a nearby gallery. So you walk through the tunnel and you could admire the fountain in the square. Thank you for watching The Honest Guide. Thank you for sticking around with us. Uh, you can also be with us on our Patreon, patreon.com slash honestguide, where you can support us. And I will see you next week if you subscribe on our channel here. I'd like to dedicate this week's uh, check work at the end to my grandma who passed away yesterday. And uh, she was very much shaping me uh, with my interest to the culture. So this is for you, grandma. Thank you for everything is děkuju za všechno. Thank you for everything. Děkuju za všechno.